So to every parent who dreams for their child and every child who dreams for their future, I say these words to you tonight. I am with you, I will fight for you, and I will win for you. I humbly and gratefully accept your nomination for the presidency of the United States. All right, that was then GOP candidate Donald Trump accepting his party's nomination during the 2016 Republican National Convention. As the history books show, Trump later went on to defeat Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton that November, becoming the 45th president of the United States. After losing re-election in 2020, he is back on the main ticket. Will he pull off a victory this November? Certainly, only time will tell. I'm Kana Whitworth, and we're so glad to have you here with us. This is ABC News Live, continuing coverage of the Republican National Convention here in Milwaukee. And I want, right now want to bring in Brylin Hollyhan, RNC Youth Advisory Council Chairman, author, and political commentator. Brylin, so happy to have you here with us. And let's jump right in, because I need some reaction from you. We heard Vivek Ramaswamy speak directly to Gen Z last night. He said, your generation can save this country and he discussed the bravery that it takes to be vocal about conservative beliefs on college campuses. Do you feel like conservative voices are muted or even a threat on college campuses or even school campuses at all throughout this country? My friend Vivek is exactly spot on. You know, Kane, I was on the convention floor last night and I saw firsthand that Republicans are unified. That's our message this week as Dems continue to be in disarray. President Trump is unified and he's committed to that. My generation's unified and we're committed to that. That is our goal going into November. And President Trump is being strategic with that. I mean, we saw just with his VP choice, he's making sure that he's keeping the youth vote in mind. He picked J.D. Vance, a young, energetic candidate. Obviously, the senator who's an outsider to politics, just like President Trump was a businessman before he became a senator. But also something I think that's cool about J.D. Vance that can also help us win youth voters like you were talking about with Vivek saying in his speech uh, is that he also won a hard state in a very close election and knows how to win the nation in a close election come November. President Trump's unified like I said to win youth folks and it's working clearly as we see in the polls. Certainly, and again, reminding everybody, J.D. Vance, just 39 years old. Uh, also, look, Brylin, some analysts think that this generation, your generation, could be the most conservative generation yet. Do you think that that really could be the case? And if so, what is the driving force behind that? Oh, absolutely. And to your point about him being 39, he'll be turning 40 around the time that he gets sworn in in January as Joe Biden leaves a 40-year career in Washington, D.C. The parallel couldn't be more stark, Kata. But I absolutely agree. And I think, you know, Joe Biden just isn't a bad candidate. His policies are bad for Gen Z, as we're constantly seeing that. I've been in Milwaukee for the past four days, and every Uber ride I get, it's either driven by somebody who is a retiree who's had to come back to work to, you know, make ends meet because they can't survive in a Joe Biden economy, or it's a college student taking a second or third job just to survive in Joe Biden's economy. It's hard enough to live in Biden's economy for my parents and grandparents' generation. It's even harder for my generation getting a start in this economy. And absolutely, it's making a turn conservative. You're right. Well, let me ask you this. I know that you've been traveling all across this country. You've been speaking with voters. In terms of President Biden, what is the biggest concern that they have that they voice to you? Yeah, so it's not an age issue, it's a mental competency issue. We saw that on the debate stage, but we've been seeing that before. We've seen that for the past three years as, as the DNC and Biden campaign's been lying to us, trying to tell us that he's sharp as attack behind closed doors. Kana, if he acts like that in front of the cameras, I'm terrified to see what state he's in behind closed doors. But my generation's more concerned about his policies. We're more concerned about, like I said, the economy, but also the open border. We're concerned about the safety. I mean, Kana, my generation misses the days when law and order wasn't just the title of a TV show. It was the actual state of America here. We want that back. We want to live in a safe country. We want to live in a country with a fair democracy and a stable economy. The stakes could be higher in November. My generation realizes that, and that's why we're supporting President Trump. And I want to have an honest conversation, though, as well, about what you're hearing from these voters about their possible concerns about Trump. Sure. Yeah. So really what I've heard a lot of is that they want to see that he's authentic. And his reach out on TikTok has really helped with that. Him being able to hold up and do a selfie video, film a 15-second video that can get in front of hundreds of millions of youth voters, really proves that he's authentic. He's not just this billionaire as the media attempts to paint him. He's a down-to-earth man, a, a father, a grandfather, who cares about America, who cares about this country. And that's what Gen Z is turning towards him.
And do you think when Nikki Haley took the stage and spoke directly to those independent, moderate voters who perhaps don't agree with Trump all the time, do you think her kind of support is going to make a difference? Absolutely. It's going to make a major difference. I can't wait to see the polling with independents after that speech last night. I thought she gave a great speech. I think the hatchet was clearly buried on the world stage last night, and she said that she gives President Trump her complete and total endorsement. A lot of conservatives were kind of attacking her speech. I don't think that speech was meant for us. I think the speech was meant for independents, just like you said. I think that speech was meant to help win over Nikki Haley supporters to help support President Trump in November, and I think we're going to see that happen. And I know that you are really careful to talk about how these voters that you speak with, that age is not just the biggest concern, right? Because you're young voters. For many of you, this will be the first time that you vote. And you're not honed in solely on age. You really are taking policy into account. But I do want to talk about age for a moment here. I know it's a concern in terms of Biden, but what about Trump? I mean, he's not that much younger. Yeah, so I would look forward to seeing younger candidates in the future, but I would say right now with the two candidates we have, I'm you know, absolutely not concerned at all about President Trump's, you know, age or competency stopping him uh, from, you know, being able to have the, the you know, duties that he needs to do as president. I've been around President Trump countless times. I was just with him a few months ago. I've seen him backstage and I've seen him on stage and he acts the exact same way. He is sharp as a tack and I know that he's going to serve dutifully as president of the United States, the 47th one. And Brylan, I have to ask, I know this will be the first uh, election you get to vote in, but do you think that there might be a time when the American yeah. people might see your name on a ticket? <laughs> right now I like being in a commentary role, Kana, but we'll, we'll look at politics maybe in the future, we'll see. i got to graduate high school first. <laughs> right, first things first. Brylan, I appreciate you coming on. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Be safe this week. Of course, you too. All right. We have a lot more special coverage ahead here on ABC News Live. We're live at the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. Stay with us.